A swarm of locusts is heading toward fresh vegetation, and now nothing can stop them, especially after their transformation. Normally, locusts live solitary, sedentary lives, and are referred to as grasshoppers in this phase. But when their environment becomes overcrowded, often due to shrinking food sources, these loners shift into a gregarious phase and start forming massive groups. That's when a large-scale migration begins. The swarm moves in search of more favorable areas where they can reproduce and masse, and ensure the survival of their species. By this point, their numbers are already in the millions, and that's just the beginning. As they travel, the locusts devour nearly every plant in their path, clearing the landscape and preparing for the next phase. They eat just about anything that grows from the ground, but human agricultural fields are especially vulnerable to them. It's an all-you-can-eat buffet. A single swarm can number up to a billion insects and consume around 4 million pounds, 2,000 metric tons of vegetation in a single day. Once they've consumed enough, the locusts shed their skin and become winged adults. With wings, they can travel faster and farther and reproduce along the way. That's the whole purpose of their journey, to survive and spread their kind. But the real nightmare begins when multiple flying swarms merge into a so-called super swarm. This super swarm can contain up to 10 billion hungry, winged insects, devouring tens of thousands of tons of greenery daily. These swarms can grow as large as major cities, darken the skies, and cross entire countries or even oceans, leaving devastation behind. When they finally run out of food, they die off, but not before wreaking havoc. As of now, the only effective way to fight this apocalyptic phenomenon is to closely track swarm movements, predict their paths, and hit them with targeted pesticide treatments before they reach key agricultural zones.